Um, I'm Gene Richlack. Um, right now, uh, my best bench is 815. I just got back from WPO bench bash for cash. I did 804.6 and a near miss at uh, 876. Uh, today, you're going to see my bench workout. I'm going to be getting ready for the APF bench bash for cash in Pittsburgh on November 8th. I've been lifting for 20 years. Uh, the last uh, 10, 15 have been powerlifting. I, uh, been, I train on a, the hybrid uh, West Side program. I do 10 day cycles. I bench twice in that, in that time span. Um, I don't, I'm, right now I'm just a bench specialist, uh, but I do all three lifts. My best squat is 1,005. I did that earlier this year. And my best deadlift is uh, 715. My best total is 2300. Uh, after uh, the Arnold coming up, I'm going to go back to doing some uh, full meets and try to chase Gary Frank's all time mark. Uh, at this moment, I'd like to thank all my sponsors uh, MHP, Maximum Human Performance, uh, the president, Gerard Denti. I got affiliated with them uh, in June of this year. Uh, they've been nothing but uh, tremendous help to me with supplements and uh, financial aid. Um, John Inzer, in my mind, the best uh, powerlifting gear, bar none. Uh, there's nothing else in, on the market. Uh, Bob Nagel of, of, of Fish Street Powerhouse, his support and um, you know uh, with the gym and so forth, and my training partners. Too many to, to, to mention, but uh, they all mean uh, very much to me. Right now, I'm getting ready, uh, stretching out for uh, my bench workout. It usually takes me about 10 minutes to get loosened up. Uh, so make sure to take care of my shoulders because as a bencher, you got to make sure your shoulders are all loose. If not, uh, it's the first sign of trouble. All right. Um, as I said earlier, I do the uh, West Side uh, Hybrid program. Uh, we've been toying around with it uh, right now. For me, it'll be a uh, cycle four, day three, which would be uh, a bench to failure day. Uh, I'll be putting in uh, my bench shirt, so uh, we'll start off at 135. <sighs> All right, that was 135. Obviously, that felt pretty good. Uh, we'll go next to two and a quarter. I'd like to introduce you to my uh, training partner, Mark, Mark Hoffman. Uh, he competes at 242. As you can tell on the board, he's done 1925 at the IPA Nationals. Uh, he just got back into uh, serious lifting again. I expect some big things from him very shortly. <laughs> All right, that seemed pretty good. Uh, we'll go up, uh, we'll throw the hundreds on and go up to 345 for the next set. I'm going to be doing uh, 335. Uh, this will probably tell me how I'm feeling today. Uh, if it goes pretty good, uh, it'll probably be a big number today. We'll see how it goes after this. Yeah. All right, that seemed uh, pretty easy. Uh, we'll take a notice on uh, my form. I always keep my elbows in. I bring the bar down to almost on my stomach because that, for me, that's my line of power. If, any, if I bring it up any higher, I end up tend to, tending to eat the bar. So uh, I try to keep my form throughout the whole movement. This is uh, 4:45. Uh, this is usually when I start throwing my uh, my Enzer Z wraps on. Uh, in my mind, the best wraps on the market. Um, I'm gonna, See where this is, where this, uh, how this feels, um, and we'll go from there. Um, my foot placement on the bench is usually somewhere in the front. Uh, I like, uh, I like my feet flat. I know some guys do on toes and all that. I think that's bogus because uh, how can you keep uh, your center of power in your line drive if you're on your toes and stuff? Uh, 
Uh, most guys arch. I'm a big guy. I can't arch, especially with my uh, open back shirt. Um, you know, with me looking up, looking at it, looking the bar into my chest, I can't arch. So uh, you take a look and see how it is. Okay, I felt pretty good. That was my last one raw. I'm gonna throw the shirt on and everything else after that will be with a shirt. All right, uh, as I see, I got my uh, double phenom on. Uh, the one thing I learned about uh, wearing these shirts is they gotta be super tight. That's the one thing uh, the Russians have over the Americans. They wear all their equipment super tight. Not one of these wraps I'm ever gonna touch. Even in my max set, I'm not gonna touch. And that's the whole key. Just getting wraps, not worrying about touching. Stay with me until it gets set. Yeah. All right, ready, set, go. That seemed pretty good. Uh, next set will be uh, uh, know, somewhere in the sixes. We'll figure it out. All right, six oh five. Just want to do this for a quick one, and I'll tell me what my last set's going to be. Mark, you want to pull, pull back? You're just going with the one man. Still right. Two man would probably be better. Three man. You or three man. Beautiful. I think we're gonna do some good numbers today. Uh, body weight doesn't fluctuate too much. Uh, uh, senior nationals, I weighed 355. Uh, Orlando, I weighed 347. So it gives and takes depending on how I have to travel. So my body weight really doesn't fluctuate too well. I'm pretty well conditioned, so I don't have really big gains or drops in body weight. So I'm pretty consistent on the on body weight. All right, a lot of people ask why. I wore a poly as, as to a denim. Uh, most people have seen my lifts. I'm more of a speed bencher. Uh, poly works in my, in my favor. Denim, basically for guys that really muscle the weight. And for me, it basically detracts from my lift because I really get nothing off the chest with a denim and it slows me down where a poly kind of works into, into my uh, power groove. Um, I try to control the weight as much as possible, keep my elbows in, try to touch the sternum and I just, you know, get that big explosion up, like uh, Ryan Canelli always preaches, push it up and then keep it under control and lock it out. All right, 700 on the bar. Let's see how many, how many reps we can do with this. Shirt. Note, uh, Mr. Uh, Richelak, 
<clears throat> I'd like to congratulate you. And uh, your lifting is amazing. You had to chase me, huh? I feel good being chased. But it's good to have an accomplishment like you uh, in the sport. And uh, it makes it that much better. And uh, I hope you have many more accomplishments. And uh, what the future brings, we'll see. For those of you who haven't seen me for a while, I've uh, switched over to TV. You can check me out on the Eureka vacuum commercial. And uh, it's a national run right now. And uh, we opened up a 4,000 square foot gym in Sherman Oaks. And I uh, called FIT as well. And that's what's been going on. But, uh, you know, powerlifting is at a whole new realm. And I hope I've contributed great to it. And uh, let's bring it to a higher level. Take care.